Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me today. I'm really excited that you're here because today I'm going to give you a very quick pop quiz to see if you're ready for the PMP exam. I've got 10 questions I'm going to ask you. Don't run. It won't hurt. Question one. Explain to me the four values of the Agile Manifesto. Hit the pause button for more time. Now, if you're stuck and you're spluttering for help, that's a bad sign. You need to close those gaps in the Agile Manifesto values. Question two, explain to me the Agile Manifesto principles, all 12 of them. Now you might say, Phil, I cannot do that because I don't know every single one. Well, can you tell me at least three of them? It would be a good sign. Now, if you can't remember all of them, pick up your Agile practice guide, go to pages eight, nine or whatever it is and Use that as a memory jogger and then explain them back to me. Question three. Tell me what are the five process groups? Question four. What are the 10 knowledge areas? So far, so good. Okay. Keep hitting that pause button until you've gone through everything. Question five. Explain to me how the five process groups correlate to practices in the world of Agile. So that's question five, and I'm testing your hybridization awareness. And if it's weak, you need to get strong. Question six, explain to me how the 10 knowledge areas of project management correlate to the world of Agile using pages 90 to 95 of this book as an example. Were you able to do that sufficiently and is it compelling? Does it have the right ingredients? Check pages 90 to 95. Make sure you've got it down pat. Okay. Question seven. Explain to me the 12 principles of project management as set forth by the PMI in maybe not so favorite a book, but this one. 12 principles, go. If you say fail, I don't know what that is. Well, open up the book, look for the 12 principles, explain. Were you able to do that or not? Okay, if you were not able to do that, it's not a good sign. You should be able to explain those principles back in a compelling way. Now, I know some people may say, but Phil, I thought you weren't a fan of the book. It's not a question of being a fan or not a fan. The PMI is starting from somewhere, right? It's starting from somewhere. I don't like how they put it together, but the bottom line is it has some principles that are worth knowing. They're good. And it also has some ideas such as metrics and measurements. And I like the section about metrics and measurements, and you should as well, because a lot of times people do busy work by measuring KPIs that are just vanity measurements. Don't do that. All right, so you've done the 12 principles. Let's take it up a notch. Explain to me each of the 49 processes of project management and tell me each output for every one of the 49 without looking at the book this time. If you cannot do that, I'm not that confident in you taking the exam. That's just me. You've got to remember, I've been doing this for 18 years. I've seen a lot. And sometimes what makes the light bulb come on is when people apply themselves to know the 49 inside out. I'm not talking about cramming. Do you need to cram all your cousins' names? Of course not. You know them. Why can't you know the processes like that? Now, someone says, Phil, you drunk the Kool-Aid. You're crazy. You're telling me to know 49 processes? It's not insurmountable, and many others have done it to master the content. Remember, it's project management professional. So I put that demand on you. Be a professional. Know the craft. Know the processes. So were you able to say the 49 and the key outputs? Not all the outputs, the major outputs. Here's the final one. For each of the 49 processes, I need you to give me an accurate depiction of how change management flows through every single process where it possibly could. And then I need you to walk me through how each process of the 49 
maps to a practice in the world of Agile using PMI's Agile Practice Guide, pages 49 up, as a benchmark. Everything from backlog preparation, even backlog refinement, all the way to the end of the sprint. Think release, think epics, think features, think stories, think tasks, and you will be on your merry way to doing very well on the exam. But you've got to be able to mix and meld. You've got to understand change requests. Finally, I want you to walk me through issues, risks, decisions, corrective action, preventive action, defect repair, and updates. If you are able to answer these 100% to your satisfaction, you're on your way. And I want to give you a challenge. For anyone who is able to create a video answering all of these questions, I've got a little reward for you. But you have to tag me on your social media and you have to make it compelling, not like a lame duck answer. Give me your best answer. And I have a little sum sum for you, but you've got to tag me and you're not taking it down from social media. And your buddy Phil will give you something that will make you rather happy. It's a challenge. I'm trying to inspire you to get your PMP game on. It's not open to PMPs, <laughs> just the non-PMPs. All right, thank you very much. I call this the PMP challenge in our 40 days to PMP exam success. So tag me, let me see what's up. You can find me on Instagram, Project Management Coach on Instagram, at Project Management Coach. You take care, my friends. Keep going through the 40-day program. Go on down to pmp.pmradio.org and subscribe to the podcast, pmradio.org. You can get it on Apple, on Spotify, on iHeartRadio, everywhere, even on Audible. So what are you waiting for? Thank you, my friends. And for those of you who are looking for a solid study guide to hybridize your mind, I wrote this book with my buddy Roy, and this book has helped a lot of people master the content for the exam. Agile, hybrid, predictive, going through all the tasks. You take care, my friend. I wish you all the best. Bye for now. Looking forward to those videos.